When it comes to transforming your physique and seeing results, it's not just about knowing a lot. It's about knowing what to focus on because there's so much information out there and you need to make sure that your hard work is going in the right direction. And this video is about that. I'm gonna give you a simple step-by-step -step guide on what to do to get lean in the next six months if you're starting now. There's no fluff here. These are the essential habits and tools that will get your results. So let's dive right into it. So the first step and the most important one is starting with the correct mindset. This is not a diet. This is not some kind of temporary phase of suffering. These next six months are about you building a new lifestyle. You're making a firm decision to think and act like a healthy, fit version of yourself moving forward. Even if your physique doesn't reflect that right now, that part will come, but it's important that you mentally embrace a new identity and make that the foundation of your decisions moving forward. Anyone can fake being healthy and order a couple of salads here or there, but the key to lasting results is creating a new normal. It's about setting a new higher standard for yourself, because if you don't raise your standards, you'll eventually revert back to the old you. Being fit is not just a physical change. It's not just about what you do. It's about who you are. A successful fitness journey starts with that change of mentality. That is your source of grit. That is the reason you don't give up when things get hard. I see too many people skip this step just to find themselves where they started six to seven weeks later. Now, the second big step to transform your physique in the next six months is fixing your nutrition. Nutrition is the primary driver of fat loss. And aside from hitting the like button on my videos, this is the main thing most people need to focus on in order to start seeing results. And when I say fixing nutrition, what do I mean? Well, here's a couple of simple diet adjustments you can make to get on the right track. The first one is to make the foundation of each meal protein and fiber. I personally aim for at least 40 grams of protein and 10 grams of fiber per meal. Helps me stay full and makes it much easier for me to reach my daily protein target. Now, the second adjustment I recommend is auto-regulating your carbohydrates and fats. So if a meal comes with higher carbohydrates, you go lower in fats. If it comes with higher fats, you go lower in carbohydrates. It's a well-known fact that if you combine higher carbohydrates and higher fats in one meal, that it's much easier to overeat and those calories add up quickly. So the foundation of your meals is protein and fiber, and then you choose to combine that with other carbohydrates or fats. And this is a very simple heuristic that will enable you to stay in that calorie deficit much easier. Now, the third simple adjustment I recommend is limiting ultra processed junk food to no more than two, three smaller indulgences per week. These foods are designed to make us want to overeat. They're not very filling and we can have some flexibility, but we gotta be really smart. The same thing applies for alcohol. I would recommend limiting to no more than two smaller drinks per week and never combining junk food with alcohol because that can be a disaster. Most of my coaching clients actually choose to eliminate alcohol entirely because that does make the process a lot easier. Now, the fourth adjustment I highly recommend is getting rid of snacking. It stands me to see how many calories are wasted on mindless snacks. For most people, if they just did this one thing, they would already be losing a pound or half a kilo of body fat per week. So my advice is stick to your three to four meals per day and get rid of the snacks. And the fifth thing, which ties it all together, is getting feedback on your diet. And the easiest way to do that right now is tracking your food intake using an app. This will quickly reveal, even if you do it for two to three weeks, where do you need to get more protein, where you're reading, where you're not getting enough fiber, and that data will then allow you to fine tune your diet over time. If you follow these simple recommendations that I just laid out, your nutrition will be very solid. Now that we got nutrition out of the way, we need to talk about your training because the reality is if you're trying to lose body fat without resistance training, you're gonna be losing muscle mass, you're gonna be slowing down your metabolism, and you're gonna end up in a much worse position over the long term. And if you're not sure where to get started, I would highly recommend a more minimalist approach to lifting weights, three or four sessions per week, 45 minutes to an hour per session, four to five different exercises that train the whole body, and that's it. Contrary to what most people believe, that is enough to see great results. I personally do four sessions per week for about an hour, and I've been training now consistently for over 12 years, and I still make progress with four. I've gone up to six when I had more time, I've gone as low as three sessions per week when I was really busy, and I found four to be a sweet spot. Workouts aren't too long, I can recover between the sessions, and I can also fit this within my weekly schedule. The most important things with your training are lifting with good technique, and then following a program that allows 
allows you to improve over time. So for example, if you're currently dumbbell bench pressing 60s in each hand for a set of eight, that six months from now you can dumbbell bench press 70s in each hand for a set of eight. And it's not so much about the absolute numbers as it is about that gradual improvement over time. And this is the exact opposite of what most people do in the gym. They just show up, they don't follow any real program, they're just going through the motions, and then they're wondering why they're not making any real progress. Follow a program, track your workouts, go into each session with a clear intent to either improve your technique, reps, or add more weight, and always be on a lookout for opportunities to get better and better. And that's how you're gonna see great results. Now, what if I told you that there's one thing that you can do right now that's gonna help you lose more body fat, look better, feel better, live longer, be more creative and productive, and have more energy. It doesn't require any extra equipment. You can do it pretty much anywhere, that you already know how to do it, and you can feel the positive effects almost immediately. What am I talking about? I'm talking about walking, and incorporating walking is step four in your six months transformation plan. I'm a really big fan of doing seven to 10,000 steps per day. I've noticed a huge difference when it comes to fat loss, my own personal experience, as well as with hundreds of clients. It really does make staying in a calorie deficit much easier. And one of my favorite ways to add more steps is going for a walk as soon as I wake up. Before I even know what's going on, I've done 3,000 steps, and that goes a very long way toward a daily total. Plus, I'm taking that opportunity to listen to an audiobook, a podcast, calling a loved one, and I'm starting the day on a positive note. Plus, I'm noticing that I'm much more focused for the rest of the day. So if you're serious about your fitness goals, health, longevity, productivity, implementing a daily walking habit is an absolute no-brainer. It's one of the easiest ways you can improve your results. Now, let me ask you a question. How do you know whether you hit a true plateau or whether you're just retaining water? How do you know when you're losing body fat or when you're losing muscle mass? How do you know if you're losing too fast? or too slow? These are all very important questions that you need to know how to answer. And that brings me to step number five of your six month transformation plan. And that is setting up your fat loss tracking system. Because there's a couple of metrics that I highly recommend you track so you can make high quality decisions and you can know what's really going on on your fitness journey. The first metric we're gonna use are your weekly weight averages. I recommend that you weigh yourself three times per week or more, and then you average that data over the course of two to three weeks. I also recommend always looking at the averages so you don't get too emotional about any single weight. The second metric we're gonna use are your weekly waist sizes. Pick one day of the week, make sure the measurement is standardized, at the same time, for example, in the morning, snug fit, flex tabs, and you write down that measurement. Now, those two metrics, combined with your training performance, allow us to see some really interesting things. Here's a couple of examples. If your weight is going down and your waist is going down and your strength levels are going up, you're likely losing body fat and building muscle at the same time. Great work. If your weight is going down and your waist is going down and your strength levels are about the same, means that you're probably losing body fat while maintaining your muscle mass. Now, if your weight is stable, your waist is going down and your strength levels are going up, it's very likely that you're experiencing some water retention, still losing body fat, building some muscle. Maybe your deficit is not very large and that could be a body recomposition going on. Now, one of the worst case scenarios that can be detected with this is let's say your weight is the same, your waist is going up, and your training performance is decreasing. That can indicate that you're accumulating body fat around the midsection while losing muscle mass. And this is how we can use a simple three data point system to really see what's going on with our physique. And we're all different at the end of the day. These five steps will give you a solid action plan to get started. And then over time, it's really all about making adjustments based on what works best for you. If you enjoyed this content, do make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Details for coaching if you wanna work with me on your fitness journey are in the description below. So check those out and I'm gonna see you in my next video.